Jen Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise to take a short call on behalf of the Green Party to offer our support for the Rates Rebate Retirement Village Residents Amendment Bill 2016 in the name of the uh, Honourable Ruth Dyson. And it's tradition for me just to acknowledge my envy for members who get bills pulled out of the ballot. Five years of waiting. Um, so this is a bill that is, has already been mentioned, is um, quite simple and not particularly um, complex. But we're pleased to support it for three key reasons. Um, one is that it provides for geographic equity, it provides for care of elder New Zealanders, and it's potentially also may, um, in some small way, ease some of the financial pressure on our local authorities. And all of those are ve very, um, positive goals, we would say. So at the heart of this, as already been covered by other members, is updating our Rates Rebate Act, which was written in 1973, at a time before retirement villages really even existed in this country. It was more a time where we had old people's homes, which are a very, um, very, very different setup. Um, and so that we have, since that time, developed now, I think, um, previous member was noting about 30,000 people live in retirement villages across the country. And um, the electorate that I live in, uh, um, of Mana, uh, we have Kapiti in the north, which I hear the new mayor has been identifying that he's, um, I think, wanting to be the retirement capital for New Zealand as a vision for the city for active um, and positive uh, retirement for New Zealanders, which I think is an interesting and um, quite inspiring vision. So, the, so this is updating us to the current environment because people are in retirement villages, so they are on, they technically don't own the village, but they have a license to occupy and they have to purchase that license. And, and it's a kind of a cost similar to buying a house in many cases. And they can then sell it on minus um, the charges from the centre, and that's always a point of debate for a lot of people, um, at the end. And money, profit may be made off that. But it's only in some instances, in some places around the country, where those people are able, through local government um, amendments, able to actually get in effect a rebate on the rates. And it's been covered, some of the technicalities earlier, that they actually, while their um, bill that they get from the retirement village may state rates, that technically that is not rates because it's not recognised by the legislation. So while it says the words um, legally, I guess um, it's been suggested, it isn't really rates. Um, but this would, this legislation would make an amendment to the, um, and provide a new definition of ratepayer. Um, so to add a provision to include a resident of a retirement village who pays rates, directly or indirectly, in connection with an occupation right agreement with the operator of the retirement village, which means they would then be entitled to um, if they were eligible, and I guess that is an important point for people listening to this, to know that it doesn't mean you're automatically going to get that rebate. It is only if you um, meet the low income threshold that people living down the street in their own house would be, um, have access to. So it would be on the same grounds. So, and this is really, I think really important just to have a second or a few minutes, seconds to acknowledge um, that Income is really, really important for older New Zealanders, and that is the same if you're living in your own house, home or in a retirement village. And we're seeing a growing inequality in our country, and people on fixed incomes, it really, every dollar matters. So while this won't change people's um, entire lives, it actually could make a very real difference, because income provides a barrier to contribute 
participating in society and accessing social supports. The research tells us that very clearly. So people who are entitled to access the rebate on the basis of income already have barriers for participation. So income and giving them that rebate may help. A 